said he had he had a wedding to go to this afternoon. What did you say? I say, who is getting married? And he said. He said he's an old man. Phil, we know that. Only he didn't say he's old man. They call each other by their first name. How often have you heard of father and son? Phil, the name just the Ah, I think it's uh, Percy. Uh. Percy. Oh gosh. Thomas in inner kid. Inner kid. See for yourself. It must oh, be his. Right, you I'll take this and call him right away. Ah, in the cave. Oh, come, in the cave. I'm waiting. Ooh. No answer. Okay, then, Peggy, I have something important to say to the class, and I want you to hear it. This concerns us all. Okay. Georgia, I hope it's about my shoes, because they squeak. Phil, I have more on my mind right now than new shoes. I promise you have another pair for tomorrow. All right, Cass, we still haven't been able to locate Tom. I'm sure he will arrive any second, but just in case... Incredible, huh? We doesn't even can locate one lost actor. Phil, I need the full cooperation of every member of the cast. It's close to curtains, so time is precious. All right, Cass, this show is going on tonight. With or without Tom. Uh, really? What do you have in mind, Georgia? Listen, I intend to make an announcement. I'll go up on stage and explain that something has happened to the actor play Jimmy. And that's tonight. The playwrights will step in. They will love it. I think you overestimate their goodwill, right? I know it's difficult. You're all professionals. And I know that you can rise to the occasions and turn this crisis into a trial. And let's not forget Bernie Falcon. He flew all his way to see this show. So, let's give him one. Let's give him the best performance he's ever seen. Yes, three cheers for the show. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 I'm sorry, don't be mad. Thank God. I know I'm late, I'll, I'll get you asked. Tom, slow down, don't scare yourself in the state. My first part, and this happened. Hey, I can't think. It's like a nightmare. Are you okay, Tommy? Uh, I, I'm perfectly alright. Yes, Tom, not to go like this. Well, Tommy, bring him in. Top the washroom. Don't remember, Tommy. How much egg you cook in the can never walks off the age before intermission because I've already had one at the full dad. Hey, then don't cross your eyes in the middle of my speech. That's why I try. Uh, I've never crossed my eyes. No, what will you call it? Maybe I just winced a little. Winced? And there's already in the car in the breath. And by the way, Georgia, is he sober and repentant? I need time to sober him up. Ooh, make an announcement. Tell the audience that there's pain oh, yeah. We can't hold much past 8.25, not in the latest. Listen, we will hold as long as it takes. We're not canceling the show unless the actors want to. Is that us do? Okay. Let's find ways to wake Tom up. Away, away, hey. away, hey. away. Hey. Oh. oh, yeah, yeah. away. Hey. Duh! Oh, hey, one, hey, one. Hey, one. <laughs> Let me count to three. One, two, three. <laughs> What's going on? Okay, here we go. Have a good show, everyone. Stand by house to half. Sound cues one through four. We show out. House. Black. Good show, everyone. And would it be too much if I use matches instead? No. Hey, he doesn't even wait for an answer. He's in the can! In the can! In the can! In the can! Yeah. In the can! Yeah. 
alcohol, and they lock in the bathroom. Okay, I'll tell them the whole thing. Fail, don't panic. I'll get you out in Jimmy. Just don't worry. I'm too moved to speak. Tonight was just not in the cast, Peggy. I know it now. To be critics, bringing foes against you is one thing. To be confident is quite another. They will be shut up, I can't say. You can't say. I'm only talking to keep my spirit up. You're not the one who has his boots stuck in the toilet. Don't worry. Here, I'm getting you out.
world's greatest actor, Tom Kenny. Oh my God, Georgia, I, I can't live it down. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Peggy, are the others here yet? It's only 25 after. They will be playing soon. I need you to move. I'm almost finished, Peg. Just say the word.
The fact remains that her performance is by far too large for such an intimate space. Almost wildly extravagant. She starts off at such a high emotional pitch. She has nowhere to go except into the upper ranges of hysteria. Well, that's dreadful. And she will be devastated. Oh, go on, Roger. For this, the director, George Ellsworth, must in part be faulted. Although otherwise her handling of the cars is exemplary, Miss Ellsworth has demonstrated in the past. Oh, don't tell me. A fine and delicate touch. A fine and delicate touch. And an obtrusiveness that is the hallmark of a first-rate director. The care and treatment of roses, quite simply, is the best new play to arrive all season. Typical. They didn't even mention the lighting, the stand, or even the costume. The other papers are novice. You want to read them? And uh, what do they say? Basically the same thing. And then the answer is no. But you think I'm all out of bed for that? <laughs> Where's Jackie? Ah, there you are. Stand up. I want to work with you. How are you? What can I? I won't wear this one more night. You understand? Would you wear it? No, you're right. You wouldn't. Take it back to the zoo where you found it. I play housewife in this play. I drank quick. I suppose you think I'm being nonsense. And you know why? I want to be get treated like a human being. I see your point. What point? About being a nonsense. So, you think I'm a nonsense, do you? No, 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 no. no. I knew you did. No, I meant demanding. Oh, really? Yes, I think you're demanding. Why? Because I demand to be treated like a human being. No, 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 no. Because... Yes, I think I'm lost. What was I saying? Don't you know? Uh, did you change the subject? What was it? I don't remember. Uh, excuse me, everyone. I have to call my agent. I will not only make my evidence. It cheers him up. Hmm. What's the circulation of the Toronto stock? Do you have any idea? Half a million? Half a million? Oh gosh, the many. So, half a million of people now who don't know my work now believe Jessica Logan to be wildly extravagant. What do you care about one or two critics? The audience adores you. They give you a standing ovation. To be the only one saying out loud, huh? To be drawn and quartered so brutally. Anyone who didn't know this better would think it was an opera. Forget about the critics with you. You're too good to take that garbage seriously. I don't take it seriously, Georgia, and I don't care what he thinks. But it's still hers. We spent weeks, months on a play that upset our livelihood and reputation. Can be ruined by the man who scribbled off 600 words. There's all the more reason not to take him so seriously. Who in his right mind would like to be praised by a man of death? 